Hello everyone. This machine sucks. It's a uh, Leapfrog Creator XL. And as it ships from the factory, it has some major weaknesses and problems with it. Um, the main reason to get one of these is its large build volume. Other than that, it, it doesn't have much uh, redeeming features. It's not particularly fast, uh, it's not particularly accurate, and it breaks down a lot and uh, it's poorly designed. If we start off with the heated build platform, it's grossly underpowered, takes forever to get up to heat. The bed leveling mechanism is manual with bolts and screws, uh, some of which you can't get to while the machine is in a position where you can actually measure if the build platform is correct or not and uh, it also has uh, insufficient spring tension underneath it especially for large prints. I had to put in a lot of extra springs just to avoid the vibration from the motion of the machine creating wave patterns in uh, my prints. Of course the z-axis sensor is mounted on the side so it will actually zero to a different place every time. Then there is the bearing carriage. Look at this thing. My god, it's it's so wobbly. Has no integrity to it at all. I had to rebuild and redesign bearing carriages from scratch. Of course, we shouldn't leave out the bearings themselves, which are utter crap. It actually ate through the bearing rod in no time at all. I had to change to plastic ones and buy them myself. I should also mention that this thing eats motors. Because the sprocket for the timing belt is so far out on the axle, it will lead to catastrophic failure due to um, metal fatigue at the base of the axle in less than 200 hours. Of course, the extruder jams constantly, and you have to disassemble the entire thing to unjam it. I designed a new extruder from scratch to get mine to work. The factory filament feed solution is of course absolute rubbish. I had to put mine on top. And of course the electronics will break on a regular interval. Now the sad thing is all these problems is not unique to Leapfrog as a brand. Every single 3D printer I've ever bought have serious shortcomings, problems, and uh, this is actually one of the better ones. Uh, that's sad, but it's true. Um, if you get a 3D printer, you should be prepared to spend a lot of time dicking around with it to get it to work properly. And if you want it to work reliably, you probably have to rebuild or redesign large par portions of it. Uh, I know they, Leapfrog, have come up with a, a, a new version, a high-speed one, but I don't know if that's any better than this one. From the looks of it, it looks like they're using a lot of the same parts. So, if you get a 3D printer, be prepared to spend a lot of time getting it to work, uh, and at least uh, probably twice as much as actually using it, until you get it up to a proper specifications. I would actually recommend that you build one yourself. It's probably going to be more reliable than what you buy, and at least you know how it's put together and how to repair it. Because none of the printers that I know about ship with a decent set of tools to fix it, and none of them have any kind of repair manual, as far as I know. Okay, day. Good luck, and bye-bye.